located in the Salt Range Mountains in Punjab Province, Pakistan. The height of these mountain ranges varies from 500 to 1,500 meters above sea level. It is one of the largest and oldest salt mines in the world, dating back 800 million years and containing up to 84 notable minerals. Right now, let's embark on a journey to explore the Cura Salt Mine, a place that produces hundreds of thousands of tons of salt every year. This unique pink salt originates from the Kura region of Pakistan. Buried deep beneath the Earth's surface for millions of years, it has become the second largest salt mine in the world. The journey of Himalayan salt begins with the extraction of salt blocks from designated areas within the mines. Special attention is given to selecting only the highest quality salt blocks with an emphasis on their purity and mineral content. The geological expertise applied in selecting the salt blocks is crucial as it directly impacts the flavor, color, and health benefits of the final product. These rugged salt blocks are now ready for an exciting journey to become the highly sought-after Himalayan salt products. Upon arriving at the production facility, the robust salt blocks are stacked, ready for selection, ensuring that only the finest blocks move forward into the production line. One of the most prominent products of pink salt is the salt lamp known for its thousands of different benefits. To create the unique shapes of salt lamps, skilled craftsmen carve the salt blocks into cylindrical and spherical forms, which involves cutting, grinding, and drilling holes to place the light bulb inside. Additionally, Pink salt is processed into a premium culinary seasoning. The salt blocks pass through an enclosed area equipped with automatic washing and drying machines, all set up with conveyor belts, ensuring the removal of any foreign materials that may have accompanied them from the mines. The salt blocks undergo a grinding process, turning them into fine grains. A sorting machine then operates to classify the grains and remove any unwanted sizes, ensuring a uniform final product. The production line is enhanced with the integration of high-tech optical color sorting machine. After screening and sorting, the pink salt is packaged into suitable containers, ranging from small pouches to large bags, catering to the diverse needs of consumers. Pink salt products are widely distributed in the market, serving various purposes, from culinary use and health care to beauty and interior decoration. Behind the success of pink salt, there is a quiet yet incredibly important workforce Pakistan's farmers and miners. Pakistani farmers and miners have centuries of experience in extracting pink salt from the ancient Himalayan salt mines. They possess traditional extraction techniques, ensuring that the mining process is not only efficient, but also preserves the natural structure of the salt blocks. The extraction and processing of pink salt are crucial sources of income for many families in the mountainous regions of Pakistan. 
The farmers and miners here rely on the salt mines as their primary means of livelihood. The use of heavy tools introduces an element of danger, highlighting the importance of skilled professionals overseeing the cutting process. The salt blocks undergo a polishing stage, enhancing their natural luster and creating a finish that is pleasing both to the touch and visually. The necessary lighting components are then carefully installed into the hollow center of the salt block, and each lamp is meticulously inspected to ensure that the lighting elements are properly installed and that the lamp functions as intended. With their long-standing experience, dedication, skilled techniques, and love for their craft, they have helped Himalayan pink salt become one of the most beloved natural products. Himalayan pink salt is not just an ordinary salt. It has become a versatile ingredient with countless applications in everyday life. Cutting pink salt into square rectangular pieces not only optimizes the processing and usage, but also adds value across various fields, from culinary arts and interior decoration to healthcare. The square rectangular shape makes the cutting and crafting process of pink salt simpler. The salt blocks are cut to precise sizes, making them easy to transport and arrange, thereby minimizing damage during transportation and installation. With 84 minerals present in the salt, pink salt can also be used to create structures like pink salt walls. These walls not only serve as an aesthetic highlight, but also help improve air quality by emitting negative ions, which reduce dust and pollutants, creating a fresh and relaxing environment. A pink salt cutting board is not just a unique kitchen tool, it also has natural antibacterial properties, helping to keep food safer. In cooking, Himalayan pink salt not only enhances the flavor of dishes with its pure saltiness, but also provides up to 84 essential minerals for the body. The journey of Himalayan salt from its ancient origins in the Cura. Mines to the creation of exquisite products like salt lamps is a testament to the careful blend of tradition and modern artistry. If you're curious about the sophisticated processes behind different production lines, be sure to watch our next video to explore the world of smart manufacturing. hidden hundreds of meters beneath the ocean. The annual catch amounts to seven to nine million tons. It can reach a weight of up to 750 kilos and a length of up to four meters. It is nearly at the top of the fishing and processing industry. From the catching process to when, the final product appears on our dining table. This is where advanced technology and techniques are applied to ensure that each fish is processed to perfection. 
And now, dear viewers, focus all your attention on me and join me on a journey to explore the creature known as the Speed Hunter of the Ocean. Tuna is a pelagic fish that lives in schools in tropical and temperate seas. Since tuna is caught commercially, in this case, many fishermen use purse seines to catch the tuna. The operation of using purse seines can be described as deploying a large net into the water to encircle a school of tuna. Once the school is surrounded, the bottom of the net is drawn together, like closing the mouth of a bag to keep the fish inside. However, using nets in this way can easily catch unwanted fish species, posing a threat to marine resources due to overfishing. To lift such a large school of fish, many tuna fishing vessels use cranes adjusted to handle capacities of up to hundreds of tons. The Atlantic bluefin tuna is one of the tuna species frequently caught for commercial purposes. Typically, a tuna weighs more than 200 kilos. To ensure quality, they have special cold storage rooms to store the fish before they are transported to shore. After the tuna are loaded onto the deck, they are transported to the factory's warehouse by forklifts and stored. The factory's warehouse is kept at a temperature below 18 degrees Celsius allowing the fish to be stored for an extended period. The tuna are cut open from the lower belly and all the internal organs are removed. Then the belly section, which contains a lot of tuna fat, is separated. This part is very delicious and rich. The tuna is divided into large sections, the upper back, lower back, and belly. The fish is then cut into various shapes and sizes to be used in different dishes. Each step has its own specific requirement and, and demands the person performing it to have experience and professional techniques to ensure the quality of the tuna meat. Following this process correctly will help you obtain fresh, visually appealing and safe tuna pieces for consumers.
For frozen tuna, due to its large size and high hardness when chilled. Therefore, tuna cutting machines play an essential and irreplaceable role in modern tuna processing plants. The first workers remove the tail and head of the tuna using cutting machines. Then, using machines, the tuna is cut lengthwise along the spine and divided into four sections. The backbone is removed from each piece of tuna. The large fillets are then cut into pieces of various shapes and sizes, according to the requirements of different products. In addition to the giant tuna, the catch and utilization of smaller tuna are also given significant attention. After being caught and transported to the processing plant, the tuna undergoes a quality inspection to ensure it is fresh and free from any signs of spoilage or contamination.